my name is Jonathan Silva. Welcome into another episode of my Excel to Power BI series here for YouTube. For this video, what I'd like to showcase is how quickly and easily it is to take any Excel workbook that we build, especially those that we build on a Power BI data set, how we can then take that workbook and go ahead and add it into our workspace in Power BI and also be able to pin visuals from our Excel workbook on any dashboard that we already have created inside of Power BI service. So without further ado, let's take a look at our Excel workbook and how we can go through the process of including that into our dashboard and if we want even a Power BI app at powerbi.com. So here we have, again, our Excel workbook, and this data set is one of the most recent data sets I've been working with, looking at some airline information and some flight status and flight distances for different airlines of different countries, uh, different distance groups that we may have available to us. Now, if I want to take this data set, take this Power, or excuse me, this Excel workbook and send it into Power BI, the very first thing I need to do is make sure that I have it not just saved, but also closed out. Because if I have this open, there's no way that I can be able to open it inside of Power BI. So I'm gonna make sure I save it and again, close it. And then what I'll do is I'll navigate into powerbi.com and I'm going straight into my, my workspace. Here at powerbi.com in the Power BI service here is where I can add in any items that I might wanna have inside of this workspace. And if I want to include that Excel workbook here along with the existing reports that we already have, we only have one report, but it's showing the same data set here, just different visuals that we have available to us. Okay, so you can see some of these visuals and some of the different pages that we're looking at. We have some slicers available, different types of visuals here for Power BI. But if I want to add in that Excel workbook here in my workspace, it's actually quite easy to do. All we need to do is come up here, select new right there. And when we do that, we need to choose to upload a file. You know, as always, you can choose to create a new report based on a data set that you have access to, a dashboard, start to establish a data set as well, some other options here that you can create here in Power BI Service. But the one we wanna focus on again is upload a file. So we're gonna choose upload a file right there. And for this uploader, we are gonna choose a local file right here because we're gonna pull an Excel workbook from our machine. Now, if you have one saved in your OneDrive, obviously you'll choose OneDrive or SharePoint if you'd like to pull into here and into our Power BI uh, workspace. So I'm gonna select local file and then I'm gonna navigate over to my file there and my data set is right there and I'm gonna pull that in right away. And so then I need to choose how I'm going to connect to that Excel workbook. What I want to do is I wanna upload the entire file here to Power BI. I don't wanna just import the data, but I wanna actually bring in all of the visuals that I already have pre-created back in Excel. So I'm gonna choose this option right here to upload the Excel file here into Power BI. I'm gonna choose that one right there. And so now, very quickly, very easily, there is our Excel workbook. It's right there and you'll also notice that because Power BI and Excel work so well together, we even have our own section here in our navigation pane for our Excel workbooks right there. And so if I wanted to include any images from our Excel workbook, our pivot table, our pivot chart, or anything that we've created there inside of a dashboard, I can pin those visuals just like we can pin any Power BI visuals into that dashboard. So let's take a look and how exactly we can do that. So I'm gonna go into our report, our workbook here, open that up by selecting it, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I select yes here, because it contains more than one queries and might be unsafe. I always get this warning, it's something we have to go through every time, but I'm gonna choose yes because I know they're safe, I'm the one who built it. And now, as it populates through and extracts that data, I can see the different visuals that I've built back in Power BI. Now these, or excuse me, back in Excel. These visuals 
okay? This pivot table that I have on my top left or my pivot chart here, even my slicer, all of these were done by connecting out to a Power BI data set using Analyze in Excel in one of my previous videos to be able to populate them there in Excel. But now if I like any one of these, I can go ahead and select to pin. And I can choose either that row or if I want to do the whole thing, I can choose to pin the whole thing. And so if I hover, uh, highlight all of them, I can select pin in the top right and then choose to pin that right there to my dashboard. And so now if I wanna view that in my dashboard here at the Power BI service at powerbi.com, I can go straight to my dashboard there in the pop-up. If for some reason it runs away on you and you can't get to it, you can always navigate it over here in our navigator right there. Okay, choose your dashboard that you've created to co connect into. There it is. And so now I can see all of the different visuals I have pinned, including our Power BI visuals. Here's our tile, so I can move them around here. One of the great things that I love about Power BI is the way we can move around our tiles here, our visuals here online. And we can have our entire dashboard showcase data, not just from a Power BI report, but also from our Excel workbook. And just like any tiles we pin from our Power BI reports, if I were to click on this visual that we built in Excel, it will take me back to the file that it was built in. It'll navigate me back into that file. So I can select yes to see that once again. And everything here is going to be, eventually when it loads, right in front of me. So it's a nice and simple way to be able to take everything that we've done either in Power BI or in Excel and have everything really integrated in this final location at the Power BI service online. And not only can we create a dashboard, but we can also have those entire files. We can have everything from this dashboard itself. We can also, if we have it on a workspace that we have created, not our My Workspace, but we can also have those Excel workbooks and the images all embedded into a Power BI app. Now, once again, as a reminder, if you are using the free version or the community edition of Power BI service, you're not gonna have access to create a Power BI app. You also can't do that from your My Workspace, which is essentially your demo or your sandbox workspace. But if you have any other type of workspace that you've created or that has been created for you because you either have a pro or premium license, you can go ahead and create an app and your option will be right there to create or update an app you can do that and you can select to include your workbook on it. All right, well, thanks for joining me again today. I really hope you were able to take this content from this video and to be able to use this in the future, to be able to bring your Excel workbooks into Power BI and to know that you can just Take them and use them just like your Power BI visuals. For those of us that are really holding on to our Excel skills, we really want to use all of that existing knowledge that we've built over a years, years and years worth of work in our job. Well, we want to hold on to that and still use it. So we know we can still do that now. Not only can we do it in Power BI, but we can also do all of that in Excel bring it here into Power BI service to be able to visualize our data in just so many different ways that we wanna use for business analytics and business intelligence capabilities. I do wanna remind everybody that go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe on this video and take a look at our on-demand learning platform where we have not only uh, courses on Power BI, about 20 to 21 courses on Power BI, but we have all courses around the entire Microsoft Power Platform. Over 70 different courses in total that reach from Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, Power BI, Excel, Azure, T-SQL, SSIS, you name it. If it's got data in it, we're working on it for you. So go ahead and take a look at those and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.